Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Battle video. In this video we are going to quickly discuss uh, what things you need to make sure that you have done before the end of the worldwide celebration which is coming up in a couple days. So obviously uh, first things first make sure you have done the free to play units. So make sure you've done all three of the new free to play units they will be disappearing for quite a while uh, it's unlikely for these events to come back within the next three months so definitely make sure that you have done these events and got the free to play units and that you've also done the easy a area because you also want to make sure that these units are easy aid so that you have them available whenever you need goku zarbon and deborah uh Dodoria, not deborah and krillin and vegeta are all very good units so i suggest doing that the next thing you should make sure that you do is the Ginyu Force Easy A. I do think the Ginyu Force Easy A will likely come back before the other events, uh, considering how it's interconnected to the Bardock units and how it's connected to pretty much everything else. But just make sure that the Ginyu Force is collected and that you have Easy a them. Uh, you don't want to be left without them, especially since a Ginyu Force ESBR is likely coming soon to global. So I highly suggest that you focus and do this, uh, as it's going to be well worth your while. Uh, another event that will be disappearing probably permanently is the Breaking the Siege event. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you do the Breaking the Siege event and that you do the missions. Uh, even if you can't complete all of the missions, uh, even just doing the first like phase of every single event will net you a stone. So there's really no point to just give up on five stones. Even if you literally have a brand new box and have none of the best units for it, the first phase is super easy. So there's really no point giving up on those five stones. Uh, it just feels like a waste of time. Uh, and then, yeah, realistically, that's kind of it for the like time gated things uh, obviously another thing you should focus on is of course the ultimate showdown uh, and the other free to play events for all these other easy air areas uh, we're looking at things like the Margin Brew Saga Easy A area, the Prime Battle Easy A's, uh, Pan's Easy A, you know, all of those sort of things you should definitely be working on because not only are they up right now and you have, you know, the spare time and everything to do it right now, not knowing what's coming next, uh, but they are just really well worth it and it's always great to pick it all up at the same time. And then finally we have the Bulma event, uh, obviously something that you want to keep doing every day, just make sure that you do it every day, uh, it will only be going away on the final day of the celebration, so just keep pushing and trying to get as many stones out of that event as possible. Now that's kind of all of the stamina related events, the time gated events and everything like that. Uh, obviously as well we have a couple easy A's that came out. Uh, these easy A's should return in future obviously I think a little bit faster you'll find uh, than the story events. Generally easy A's come back quite frequently for big events etc. But just make sure that you have done these. Uh, you don't want to obviously get the units on another banner or anything like that. And then all of a sudden you can't easy a them or anything silly and then obviously the final things that i think you should focus on uh from the story event side is obviously there is some currency to earn so you can get chocolates from this margin boo event uh, and if you go to another event further on which is the return of goku and friends uh, you can receive some pudding uh, the chocolate and the pudding can be traded in at the treasure portion of the bubble shop for some kais so if you are absolutely uh you know barren on what to do you don't feel like link leveling or anything like that go and grab yourself at least a couple kais it's always worth it to pick up three or four kais uh you know it's just going to help you in future there's no point leaving them on the table and then yeah beyond that obviously you also want to just make sure you can uh farm some super attacks for some units uh, i have put up a, a super attack guide to the worldwide celebration it will be in the description below this video uh, obviously if you are looking for something to do farming super attacks for your units is going to be a nice thing to finish before some of these events go away then of course uh so i think that pretty much 
covers all of the uh, worldwide celebration related events uh, in terms of story events and things like that. Uh, again, just a reminder that you want to make sure that you do the Extreme Z areas uh, that you can and you focus on the Prime Battle EZAs. Uh, and then a final mention, uh, just make sure that you do your Ultimate Clash. Uh, obviously, I have a guide to that as well, which I'll put in the description, but Ultimate Clash is still up. Uh, you obviously want to do it three times. I myself always leave it to the last day to do it additional times uh, for that extra Kai and some additional tasty rewards. But that's pretty much it guys uh, in terms of what you need to do before the worldwide celebration ends uh, keep a lookout in the news because there will be an announcement soon about what the upcoming unit is for dbz dokkan battle global uh, and of course we did get an announcement on instagram that some great ape power units are going to be getting easy a's uh next week so it looks like it's going to be some kind of giant ape themed event maybe saiyan saga possibly and an honorable mention to just make sure that you do your Purunga Dragon Balls uh, and that you also spend all of your summoning tickets because they will not be valid for any other event. But that's it from me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and bye.